Yo, what's going on? It's DJ Crowley. And of course, Blue is in the house as well. And we have yet another incredible person joining us today. We're talking about festivals. It's January, but who cares, man? Festival season is right around the corner. Dan Braun of Camp Redwoods, Camp Navarro, Camp Deep End, the Redwood Festival Master himself. What's going on, Dan? Great to see you, Alex. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well, man. And this has been a long time coming. We got wicked sick the last day of your wonderful festival. And we had all of our interviews planned, Cosmic and you and others. And unfortunately, we didn't make it happen. We got Cosmic. Now we got you. We're back on track. We got a new year, all kinds of wonderful things happening. But before we get into all your festivals, I want to go a little bit back in the past and see how this whole thing kind of started. Take us back. What got you into this venture and how did you find yourself in Navarro creating festivals in the Redwoods? Well, that's a long story that I will make as short as possible, but Camp Navarro is the latest sort of addition in my career. And so if I go back to the beginning, I grew up in San Francisco I went to summer camp near Yosemite National Park. When I was 12 years old, I knew I wanted to own a camp. Back then, I figured, hey, I'm going to own a camp and run a kid's camp. Uh, when I got out of college, I actually started a mountain guiding adventure travel company with my two best friends from summer camp, where I went for 15 years, and we set our business up on the lake where our camp was. So my first love was nature, outdoor educator. I was a mountain guide. Uh, I always had a love for music. And part of going to summer camp, I was a NorCal San Francisco kid, was there was a bunch of SoCal kids. And they were hip to all the new music before we were. So this was the 1980s. I got turned on to new wave music before it ever made it to NorCal. The Go-Go, Split Ends, um, you know, just some of the uh, music coming out of England, ska music. So that led me to finding reggae music. I was way into UB40 before mm -hmm. they kind of went ma mainstream, um, was way into the specials. I went to Jamaica when I was a senior in high school for the reggae sun splash. So I kind of dove in deep into music. My brother, who was older, was a deadhead. I went to tons of dead shows. The point was music, nature was always a part of my evolution. Um, after the guide service, I actually uh, set up a hotel near Yosemite. So I got into hospitality and there I also met a band called Hot Butter Drum, a string band. Mm. I ended up helping to manage them. We started to run festivals at uh, the property in Yosemite and I'll kind of let us go from there. But Camp Navarro was um, me repurposing a camp for private groups, public events, and kind of culminating my love of all these interests wow what a story i, I didn't <laughs> yeah. realize you dove right into jamaica like that that's that's really cool that's one of the places that we've we've definitely wanted to travel to and i also didn't realize that you were doing events in yosemite as well before camp redwoods correct correct so i um in 2001 purchased a place called the evergreen lodge it was a little mom and pop 18 room uh, resort, seasonal, and it was right next to um, Camp Mather, which is San Francisco's family camp, where the Strawberry Music Festival used to take place. And so um, that's where I met Hot Butter Grum, the band. But, um, you know, I always wanted, you know, I'm the kind of guy who's a dreamer and mm. wanted, you know, do cool things with the, the properties I have. 
um, I was working with this band and I'm like, hey, you guys should start playing here. And then we're like, hey, we should start throwing festivals. So I kind of took this backdoor route into the music industry. I never have fully like, that's all I do, but I love music. I love creating community. I love hosting people in the spaces I have. And you've been to Camp Navarro, Evergreen up in Yosemite, equally amazing, not as big, but point is we're just trying to do some really cool things. And um, I'm very purpose-driven and, you know, if you've got the assets, use them. Absolutely. Passion first, love for it. You got to have a love for what you're doing. If you're not, then turn around, go do something else. We got Dan Braun, Camp Redwoods creator and uh, CEO in the house, man. We're really stoked to be able to chat with you before we get into your festival. Uh, you know, nature is so big, you know, out there and for you, you're, you're talking about it. Uh, tell us about the actual land, uh, some serious history there. It goes way back to the natives from what I've heard. It was an old Boy Scout camp. It's such a unique place. Tell us about the land. So in its current iteration, uh, we have 200 acres of redwoods with a river running through the property. Uh, before we took over, it was a Boy Scout camp for about 60 years. Before that, it was actually a timber camp. So mm -hmm. the loggers who were logging the redwood forests 100 plus years ago lived on this land. So it was rough and tumble and they were cutting down, you know, old growth redwoods. And um, but before that time, uh, native tribes lived on the land. It was a power center. Literally, the tribes would come from all over the state to do ceremony and trade at what is now Camp Navarro. So it's, um, I've been told by shamans that, you know, historically this place always held a deep power for them. And everyone who comes there feels it and always says there's something about this place. There is a true life force and energy and uh, it's it's a very special place. I, I feel honored to be a steward of the land. It's a very special place. I mean, the beauty of just the land before all the beautiful people and artists get there yeah. is is spectacular. I mean, Blue, is, he walked me through the he, he he loves to go out and explore the land. And he's like, come on, come on, you know, and we were walking down the trail. There's archery. Then there's fresh blueberries or blackberries. You can just pull off the tree and eat. I mean, there's so many wonderful things to do there. Uh, let's get into uh, this festival here. You, you've got multiple ventures uh, on this land, multiple festivals. But uh, Camp Redwoods, we'll talk about here first. You know, the hip abduction uh, it's been our family for God, many, many, many years. And I got to give it up to must have media, your, your production team and, and, and video team lighting and all that. You know, we were scrolling through, uh, I think it was YouTube or Facebook or something. And, and we saw, you know, the hip abduction, you know, at camp Redwoods and we clicked on it and we just like almost went into that picture into the tv and then all of a sudden we ended up there of course next year how did you uh link up with the hip and how did you get the you know th this festival going so the first time i had the hip abduction to camp navarro was in 2018 it was to our uh, flagship event our original event called camp deep end uh 2018 was our third year um, I started that event with Hot Butter Drum and with Animal Liberation Orchestra, ALO. So two bands I had a long history with at my prior property, Evergreen Lodge. So I go way back with some of the San Francisco jam bands, and we've all gotten older and evolved. And so, um, but I got turned on to the hip abduction. I had a couple friends go on jam crews. They go every year. Um, and every year I would ask them, you know, any new discoveries? And they mentioned those guys. I intuitively, when I hear music, I know within probably 10 minutes, if it's both personally my, my vibe, but I knew they would be a great um, band 
to bring to the deep end. So they, yeah, they uh, they played Camp Deep End a few times, and of course, then we started Camp Redwoods along with them and K Bomb. It's such a it was such a spectacular event, and, and everybody out there, if you haven't been to Navarro, California, Camp Redwoods, Camp Deep End, etc., you need to get out there. Uh, you know, tickets for the 2024 edition of Camp Redwoods uh, went on sale uh, January 15th, right last week. Uh, and you're doing you do a lot a lot of really unique things with your festivals uh, from things I've never seen before necessarily teepees cabins especially keeping it an intimate environment the campfire uh, almost cr making making itself a stage uh, tell us about creating the experience and the the different things that you've decided to do. Uh, that have that made your your festival so so beautiful and popular well it starts with the property because it's a beautiful um, land it holds space so well we already have tons of infrastructure from the cabins to the teepees already there for our normal events which are corporate events or conferences occasional wedding but so at the end of the day it's kind of this what i would call hybrid camp meets a festival we keep them small and intimate everyone gets to camp as part of their ticket but if you want to upgrade you know we've got some lodging for you we provide meals of course for the artists and some guests want us to provide those meals as well so we do that but with the music it's more about just kind of using the space you know we have a main stage we have an amphitheater, which we're going to use for the first time at Camp Redwoods this year. Uh, we've got our indoor lodge stage for late night shows after hours. Um, but the campfire is part of every day at Camp Navarro. Guests sit around this beautiful cauldron. And so it just makes sense. The artists kind of want to also you know, relax, let their hair down, play acoustically, no pressure. Fans can sit in, right? It's just kind right. of that breaking the barriers down from a yeah. typical festival. Absolutely. It's, it, you know, keeping it intimate, you know, obviously you only have so much space on, on that land, but keeping it intimate as you do really creates that, uh, you know, that connection uh, with the, the, I call them the family not fans but you know the, the the family and the artists and that is something that you really don't see anywhere else you really don't you, you know you walk around you know walk down you know shake down street of your festival and the artists are always always around you said they can let their hair down that's a very good way to uh describe it because there was no there's no stress you know it, with making sure that you know the artists are you know, kept back here and the, and the family, you know, up in front, everybody is family there. And that's something really powerful that you guys have created for sure. I would add that some artists may enjoy playing Camp Navarro, but may not love it. And I'm seeking artists who get it, enjoy nature. Um, it's part of what they sing. It's part of who they are. That's why the hip abduction and K-Bong are such great host bands mm -hmm. that is built into their DNA personally and musically. And when you get that curation and that alchemy, correct, you know, it's a, the sum of the parts is way greater than just the lineup because of what we're talking about. Yeah. The, the quality of people, quality of souls that are, are out there for sure. Dan, we got a few more questions for you. If you're just tuning in, you're late. We got Dan Braun, Camp Redwoods, creator and CEO, Camp Deep End, and maybe some more in the future. I, I did want to touch real quick. He's, he's talking about the amphitheater stage. Where is that? I, I don't remember seeing that. Uh, it, it, elaborate on that one for us. So what's amazing is the amphitheater is right next to the main lodge and right off the back of the lawn. So it's literally 75 yards from our main stage, but you can't see it unless you walk towards it and through some trees. 
and it's a 300 seat amphitheater. Uh, we haven't really changed it since the Boy Scout days. It sits just above the river. Folks can be swimming and hear the music. It's got a smaller stage. We amplify it, but it's more about acoustic or, you know, the main stage is where we really rock as well as the indoor stage, but um, it's a pretty special magical spot as well. And can't wait to debut it this year at Camp Redwoods. Yeah. And real quick, uh, how can everybody find out more about your beautiful events? Go to campnavarro.com and you'll see our link to our festivals. The specific link for Camp Redwoods is campnavarro.com backslash camp out. Uh, yeah, we'd love to see whoever finds getting down in nature with a wonderful community joining us. So yeah, absolutely. Some tickets available. Yeah. The family keeps on growing. Uh, before we get into uh, kind of the future and all that, I do want to say there are so many other things to do at your festivals besides check out music. Uh, we, we touched on archery. What other things can people get into out there? Well, so as I mentioned, we have 200 acres and that includes trails. During the event, we provide some campy activities, archery, we have a rock climbing wall. We do some arts and crafts, just kind of do it yourself, but there's materials there. You know, we have games, Jenga and horseshoes and ping pong and volleyball. So it really is kind of this campy vibe. Um, we're also, if folks want to leave the property, you know, we're in wine country, five minutes away, our world-class wineries. We're 20 minutes from the coast, you know, incredible beaches. The Navarro River is close by for boating. I know some folks go mountain biking close by. Of course, it's cannabis country. There's farms, there's dispensaries. It's kind of a amazing location. Mendocino County is truly special and just a couple hours from the Bay Area, but feels like you kind of, you know, dropped off the face of the earth and found uh, a little secret discovery. Absolutely. Hey, I want to just talk real quick about the lineup for this year. Obviously, we have the hip and, and Johnny and K-Bong, you know, uh, in the meat of it. Uh, you got some really, really cool acts this year. Uh, Vana is going to be back. Obviously we got, uh, algorithm, which is a cool grab new kind of super group. Uh, uh, some of the members from stick figure, uh, et cetera on that one. Uh, you also have my boy, our boy, Brendan Clemente really stoked that you got Brandon. He's such an unbelievable soul. He's going to fit so well there. Uh, you know, beach fly, which is, our buddy is that John? Was that his name? Yeah. John yeah. Man. Yeah, man. He's he does the same stuff we do. You know, he does mm -hmm. a two-minute podcast. Big shout out to John, uh, the new adopted family member at Camp Redwoods. You know, that's gonna be wonderful, uh, being able to see him doing his thing. Tell us about the lineup and kind of, you know, the thought process behind it. Yeah, as I said, it's it's heavily curated. It's not just let's grab them because they're trendy or going to sell tickets. It's really about kind of the alchemy. Arise Roots, love their music. They came to Camp Deep End last year and their minds were blown. And Kareem and I, you know, we're like, you're coming back. So it's mm -hmm. kind of the, it's the family. It's connecting those dots. Boostive is on tour with K-Bong this spring. That was his pick. And they are just incredible kind of you know, uh, just go check them out. The wide eyed kids add this just beautiful vibe. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, it's really, you know, um, kind of, I, I spend a lot of time thinking about the lineup. There was a couple bigger acts that could have been the headliners as well that wanted to be at Camp Redwoods, but couldn't because of other tours. I won't drop names, but um bands want to come play they the the mystique what they're hearing you know makes me feel good because we're definitely something different and as i said you almost want like 
this copacetic mutual, like, you know, almost them reaching out saying we want to do this as well. So. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, campnavarro.com uh, slash camp out for more info. Also camp redwoods, the Facebook page, correct? Correct. Yeah. And the Facebook pages are really, really, especially your Facebook page. It's very, very, you're very, very active on it. You're always answering questions. You're always, you know, posting all kinds of cool pictures and video and telling people about the event. I highly recommend everybody go check out Camp Redwoods, the Facebook page there. That's really where you can get a lot of real time info uh, after you go to the website, you know. We're really about community, Alex. You know that. Mm -hmm. and, you know, whether it's Facebook group, you know, people are, you know, the world's kind of effed up right now and people are trying to find their way. And, you know, if I can help by connecting people to nature, community, good music, a good party, but, you know, making friends and just finding the path forward. That's, you know, what we're all trying to do. You've got such a special energy to you, Dan, you know, uh, every festival kind of owner and promoter, has has their own kind of little kind of you know things to them and and you have this very beautiful warm calming uh assured energy that this is what we do you're very confident in it and and we're gonna have a good time because we're bringing the right people here we're bringing the right family fans here and we have this beautiful land right what could be better yeah i you know i i normally wouldn't say this but you know, the right people find us and um, I'll leave it at that. There's, you know, there's a subset that maybe won't enjoy the vibe, the community or want to let their hair down too much, which I, you can go do that, go do it somewhere else. It's all about, you know, pro level, you know, finding yeah. community and family and, you know, respecting the party and having a good time and, yeah. So, yeah, there, there's also a very high sense there's a of a lot of kids uh, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the kids are always invited. Yeah. And it's, it's a very mature environment. Yes. It's, it's not, uh, you know, not to throw down any festivals that, you know, the more people you get into a, you know, a festival ground, the more crazy it's going to get usually. <laughs> but, uh, the, the people that are there and the people that you kind of attract are good, level-headed good good energy people they're mature they bring their kids and that's that's what this place is uh oh yeah yeah blue's got a great question we're gonna see i had a, almost the same question we're gonna kind of close out with that one before we get to that uh i want to talk about the future and kind of what you got going now camp do you, you, there's multiple ventures going on are there other ones uh, in the works other than camp deep End, camp redwoods tell us a little bit about the future and kind of what you want this where do you see this event and these events going so camp deep End, as i mentioned is kind of our original event that's uh in september the weekend of september 20th and that one's just a little more expansive in terms of the musical genres Camp Redwoods, I realized, obviously, with like K-Bong and the hip abduction, kind of that reggae world, pop vibe, you know, that's, it's almost like my personal playlist. But, um, you know, even though we have the ability to do six festivals a year, I don't want to, I don't want to do too much. The point is, there's always people wanting to do festivals at Camp Navarro, other promoters, uh, I'm not too keen on that right now. We might add another event next year. Um, last year, we did an event with this incredible band out of Boston called Neighbor, um, mm. kind of psychedelic rock and roll, Mother Hips, Midnight North, um, so some Americana rock. Um, that speaks to me and kind of the vibe at Navarro. But point is, you know, I don't want to overwhelm the land or take away from the couple events that we have. So, um, but if there's people out there with cool ideas, you know, I'm a dreamer as well. Hit me up. Maybe we can make something happen. But right now, 
my goal, just so you know, is, you know, we got crushed during COVID. We were shut down for 16 months and I'm still rebuilding the company. It's not easy running a business or a property like this. So I'm really focused on doing what we are doing right now really well. And um, so, yeah, love to see folks join us this year. Absolutely. A lot. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Yeah. Uh, CampNavarro.com for more info. CampNavarro.com slash campout. Camp Redwoods. You got Camp Deep End. I got just a couple, two more questions. And we're going to get you out of here. Blue is kind of telling me, and I was thinking, what's your like favorite experience thus far? I got to say, from what I've seen, uh, man, that Little Stranger show, <laughs> I, I, we weren't there, but the Little Stranger show in the lodge, we watched that full uh that full show that must have that man those are our boys too man and that must that was just the funniest they are so funny so warm so wonderful uh i'd have to say from the the actual festival we went to camp redwoods probably that hip abduction show when blue starts naming the redwood trees <laughs> after the hip show <laughs> tom and sally that surfer girl <laughs> set that first surfer girl set oh my god there's so many good ones any anything that just sticks out to you that's like man i love this place i love what this what's happening here oh that's a loaded question alex i have cuz i'm you know i do all the work so i can enjoy myself i'm still producing the event but i'm all in as a music fan Yes, that Little Stranger show last year was incredible. That was at <laughs> Camp Deep End. It was followed by Eggy. So mm -hmm. it was a kind of a double late night. The, the Both shows were just incredible. Little Stranger played the next night in our amphitheater. Equally just a spectacular groove and party to kind of end <laughs> night three in the event. Um, ALO and Hot Butter Drum always just the they're the ultimate hosts and welcoming sit-ins you know we have a youtube page people should go check out our youtube page as well as must have medias because every show at camp navarro is pretty darn special um and yeah i'm just i, I cannot wait for this year it's uh i spent a lot of time also on the scheduling and kind of just mm -hmm. visioning what's going to happen. And um, yeah, it's, uh, but go check out our YouTube page. It's under I Camp Deep End. Absolutely. And check out Must Have Media. I mean, if you want to get really a, an idea of kind of what to expect, especially musically, check out those pages. You can watch the full shows. I mean, go check them out. You know, it's such a magical place. Dan, we are really appreciate you coming and chatting with us. I know you are a very, very busy man. Uh, CampNavarro.com slash campout. Don't forget, he's got the OG Camp Deep End. There could be more things in the future. Camp Redwoods on Facebook. I'm going to let you go after this last question. The first time I interview somebody, they get the same one. So here we go. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much, everybody. Please check out Camp Redwoods. Such an incredible, incredible event. Such a positive environment. Such such a vibe. It just works. And if you're one of those people that vibes and, and can groove with that kind of feeling, bringing the kids out, having a wonderful, intimate time with all your favorite artists in a beautiful, beautiful setting, please go check it out. What does reggae mean to you? One love. I love it. One heartbeat. <laughs> One earth. That's how I live my life. And reggae is a great messenger of that. We all need to get along. We also need to protect our earth. And uh, yeah. We all need to get along. That's something that you are very good at uh, facilitating. Thank you so much, Dan. We appreciate you and hope to see you out in Navarro. Uh, in 2024. All right. Thank you. It was an honor being with you guys. Thank you. Peace and love. We'll see you next time. Okay. Uh -huh.